Hello, everybody. Welcome to another play along with yours truly. Uh, what is going on in the comments out here, everybody? All right, it's showtime. It's snow time also. Uh, we've got sunny weather. We've got rainy weather. We've had breakfast. Some of us are retired. I love it. Everybody coming together to enjoy some roll and rights. All right, folks, today we're going to be playing, as you of course already know, this one right here, Trails of Tucana. And I am going to be teaching you how to play, so don't worry if you don't already uh, know the game or are familiar with it. Very simple game. I'll run you right through it. Hello, hello, Lego Assassin. Oh, my. <clears throat> All right, very nice to see everybody. Hello, Sean, Sebastian. Hi, everybody. All right, so um, if you have a copy of this game, great. Just get yourself one of the uh, one of the sheets. One of these. Mine happens to be laminated, but I've got other ones. You know, big deal. Uh, same thing. Uh, so get yourself one. You're good to go. That's all you're going to need to do. Maybe sit through the explanation if you already know how to play. If you don't know how to play and don't have a copy of the game, I'm going to provide you with an image of the board just like i've done for these other ones uh i'm gonna put that up you can go ahead and screen capture that and then write right over it with whatever okay uh you can do it on an ipad you can do it on something like that however you want to do it so let's go ahead and do that now let me show you what this looks like we're going to be playing on the small side of the island so that's what you want to capture all right, this is what you're going to be playing on. As you can see, the game uh, board each of us is going to have is made up of hexes of different types. You've got the forest and the swampy looking ones and the mountains. Uh, well, I guess it's desert, mountains, forests, and water. And then you've got numbered villages around the outside, 1 through 10. And then you've also got different sites, two of each. So, for example, that toucan, there's two of him. There's on the side, on the right-hand side, you've got all of the scoring you're going to be tracking throughout the game. So, there you go. There's also, uh, Mikhail is saying that there's a print-and-play file of the game board easily found on Board Game Geek. We are doing this petite island. We're going to play just the two rounds instead of the uh, three rounds. Yeah, uh, okay, I guess I had answered that already, Sebastian. Any game with a toucan gets Rally Lunar, I think, gets their attention. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Again, I'm leaving this up for a minute just so everybody has a chance. If they don't want to go through the trouble, going to BGG, or they want to be able to, again, grab it right now, and put it aside, and then write right over it, you can do that. You can write on this uh, screen capture, I guess. All right. So like I said, I'm going to be explaining the game in just a second, but I'm going, to, I'm going to give you some context and give you a couple of minutes so everybody gets caught up. In the game, I'm going to be taking turns flipping over pairs of cards that feature land types. So say forest and mountain. Every time I do that, I am going to flip over two. And then those two cards are going to denote where we all may draw a path. We're going to draw from the center of one hexagon to the center of an adjacent hexagon. And the two must be the two cards we flipped. So from the center of a mountain to the center of a forest, you know, anywhere you want to, as long as those two are next to each other. And by doing so, you're going to start connecting those villages around the outside. You're going to be connecting those sites two different villages. I know I'm getting ahead of myself slightly. I'm just letting everybody catch up. So this is going away. Bloop. All right. So um, let me hear in the comments if at this point anybody's not ready to go. I know if you're watching this later on, you've got time to pause this and just do your thing, go get it and come back. But as of right now, if anybody's in the comments right now and you're not ready to go, let me know. If everybody's good to go, give me some uh, feedback as well, just so I know you're good. Give me an, a good to go or something. A go, no go for launch. Ecom. Capcom. I'm waiting. Nothing. Oh, 
Apollo 13. You lied to me. All right. <clears throat> All right. What's going on out here, people? Mm -hmm. What is happening? All right. I am launching. I just got here. Can you repeat all of that? No, Chris. Liz is ready. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Somebody's somebody's listening. Somebody's paying attention, helping me. Okay, Nicole can't play, but they're enjoying it. Good. Sebastian's leaving already? I haven't even started yet. Monstrous. Go flight. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to the moon. All right, guys. Let's do it. I'm cutting to the table so I can teach. All right, here's the very first thing I want you to do, everybody. <clears throat> this card here represents our setup together with this information. So, here's what I want you to do. Find which of these lines corresponds to your name. You can use your first name, your last name, it doesn't really matter. And then, so find out where you are and then you'll figure out which village is where you're starting to draw these letters, okay? So, for example, I'm going to go with my first name. I'm going to go with Z. That means 8 for me. So, 8 right here, for me, I'm going to put an A right there. And then, once everybody's got where their starting letter is, based on their name, I'm going to go around this circle, and you're just going to go around this circle, after the A, putting in the rest of the letters. So, for example, it's A first, then C, so C is going to go in my next letter. Then B goes in the next letter after that for me. And so on around the circle. All right. Let's do it. So it's A, C, B. Then D over here. C again. D again. E. B. A. E. And once that's done, you should have letters all around. Everybody good? Okay. This can go away, I think. This part, anyway. It doesn't really matter too much where you start. This is just to give us some setup variability, folks. So there you go. Once you've got that, then we are ready to begin proper, and I will do El Ticho. Shuffle up some cards. Okay. I'm going to put this aside for now while I teach in case anybody's still referencing that. So here's how the game works. We're going to be playing through two rounds. And every round I am going to, from this pile of cards, reveal two of them. Like so. Then everyone simultaneously is going to draw a line between those two types of uh, landscapes on the board. So my very first turn might be drawing a line between the center of this hex and the center of this hex. Like so. That might be it. Okay? And then once everybody's got that, I'll move those two cards aside and I'll flip over two more and then we'll draw between those two. Some in here are wild, so be aware of that. Eventually, what you are trying to do is twofold, basically. Okay? You are trying to connect villages to each other that are the same letter. When you connect E over here to E, your, and your two E's would be in different places, likely, okay? When you connect E to E, you're going to get 10 victory points in this game. If you do it early, you're also possibly going to get a bonus. I'll come back to that in just a little bit. You're also going to get points for connecting these sites to any village. So... Let's say later on I get forest, forest, and I connect this tile to this one here. 
and later on I get mountain desert and I connect this one to this one here that means I've connected that book to that village and I am going to circle the book the first one that's gonna get me two points if I later on connect the other book to any village, it doesn't have to be the same village, they don't have to be connected to each other, I could connect this book to just that one, connect it to that one, doesn't matter. I'm going to circle the other feature next to it. That's going to be another couple of points, but also I'm immediately going to get a bonus road that I can draw between any two things, and it might, it itself, cascade into another bonus. That's fine and perfectly legal. So that's what you're doing. Now, at the end of a round, which is when I've run through all of these, you are going to figure out what your score is in all of your bonuses. You're going to add up all the numbers up here and write them right there in round one. And then we're going to shuffle up the deck and do it again. At the end of the second round, you're going to write down your bonus score. So again, anything you unlock early here, you score twice. You're going to write that right here. And then you're going to score all of the connections of the villages you were able to pull off. After that, this star represents any bonuses you unlocked. You'll write bonuses right here as we go along. And lastly, your total. All right? Pretty good so far. Bonuses. Let's talk about that. These cards over here represent bonuses you're going to get if you connect villages before other people do. Let's say you are the very first one to connect the two C's. Well, you're going to get a bonus five points, which you will write right here in this bank for the for the stars. Okay. Um, you can only score each letter once. Once somebody does score the C, it's going to go away. Later on, if anybody does it, they'll get three points and then it'll go away. If anybody does it in the same card flip, the same two cards flipped, you both will get it. You all will get it. So you're scoring those. Okay. Now, here's what we're going to do, guys, for those. Um... Every time I have a pair of cards, I'm going to put it aside somewhere visible. This will be pair one. Then I'll do another one, pair two, pair three, pair four, pair five. I can fit, I'm guessing I can fit about six pairs or so on the screen. And then, um, after I've done about six or so, like I said, we will stop. And I'm going to check if anybody got it. From the comments, you have to let me know. Did anybody unlock one of the letters by touching them? You'll tell me on which pair you got it. Third pair got A. Great. Anybody who got it on the third pair will score that number. And then I remove the card. Anybody who gets it later, we'll check later. If you get it later on, you will um, get the second bonus, so the lower number. Questions? This is the game. Ah! <laughs> Questions, concerns, comments. This can go, I'm guessing. Rebecca has a comment, but it just says, erm. Is that like a um, or like a hmm. I don't know. You don't have a question so far? Well, that's all the rules. So, if you don't have a question, we're probably good. Sorry, I know this is shaky. Sorry. Okay. Chris, man, uh, music, that's, that's not a question that's related to what's at hand. I have not played that game, though. Okay, let's do it. There you go. Hmm. 
All right, that's pair one, people. One number was R? What? Oh, R, uh... Yeah, you should have started at six. So six gets A. Seven, eight, nine, ten, so on. I'll put that there so you can catch up. All right, next up. Second pair. Oh, we got a wild, folks. So it's anything and a forest. So anything around a forest connected to that, that forest, if that makes sense. Hmm. Right. Next up, third pair. Hey, look at that. It's forest and wild again. And again, if anybody has a question, let me know in the comments. And I will help you out. Okay, I'm going to probably go ahead and move these out of the way just to have more room out here. There we go. All right, so that was pair one, pair two. Pair three. All right, that is mountain and desert. Hmm. And as soon as anybody connects two things, by the way, you need to let me know in the comments if you do so. I'll go ahead and check anyway periodically, but you gotta let me know if you connect two letters of the, that are the same letter. Mountain and desert. Don't like it. All right. All right, there we go. That is Mountain Mountain. Mountain Mountain on that one. Somebody got A to A already? All right, Tracy, tell me what... Uh, which pair you got A to A on, please? Okay, and and uh, Tracy and Rebecca got A to A. Okay, this is one, two, three, four, five. Tell me which one you got it on, please. And you are going to write, those of you who got it, you're going to write a three right in there. All right, we're just checking to see where folks got the A to A. Shalepo has a question. If I, you create a path, can you later inter intercept that same path? Um, I guess you mean connect to it, like link up to a bigger network? Yes. Yes. You can do that. All right, seven, there is no seven. I have pair one, pair two, pair three, pair four, per, pair five. Pair four, says Tracy, okay, fine. So they got it over here on this one. If anybody got it on this one, you also get three points. 
If anybody gets it after, for A, just for A, you no longer need to tell me. Just, uh, well, I guess you still do because we have the, the second level. Um, you need to let me know and then you'll get the second bonus, okay? After somebody's gotten both, nobody, it won't matter anymore. So there we go. That's out. Next up. Uh, one to two minute delay. Yeah, there's a bit of a delay. I know. Okay, water to desert. I am doing that one. Which gets me that one. Three, four, five, six. Okay, next up. All right. Little sand to sand action. I got that one. That's me, that guy. You can probably catch up just from from watching what I'm doing, Rebecca. Um, just basically, you know, every time I put out a pair, I'm connecting by a line and from, from the middle of one to the middle of another, two hexes, and then if I connect the little symbols... I'm circling them. If I'm connecting the same letters, I'm circling them over here, the number. But also, if you get it early, you get some kind of bonus. That's all. All right, next up. Oh, I got the same thing. Look at that. Okay. This is the one that there is the most of, as you see up here in this corner, if this will focus. Come on. You will focus. There you go. It tells you in the top corner over here that there's a bunch of those, but very few water, for example. Huh. All right. That was the first eight pairs. Here is the ninth pair. These two together. Hmm. Really? I'm just kind of all over the map. That was three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine pairs. Okay, I'll do a, I'll do a ten, and then we'll check if anybody got anything else. And so I can wipe this away. Here we go. Water to uh, the trees, to the forest. <coughs> Water to forest, huh? B to B for me is really far. All right, let's do this. If you branch and take a point of interest, does that count? As long as it's going back to a village, following some path, yes. There can be as much sort of webbing as you want, you know, with breaking off from uh, 
from a single path later on as you'll, you'll notice later on in the game you'll have this kind of big group and when you link up to it you suddenly reach all these other things too so getting the the villages to connect later on in the second half of the game is easier if you do it early though you get the bonus right all right so i need anybody now to tell me we're up to 10 pairs did anybody get anything else on any of these bonuses besides a already a a pair 10 that's what i'm talking about brian good somebody got this on pair 10 if anybody got it earlier than that let me know and the rest of us if we don't have aa yet we can forget about it i mean we can still do it you still get the points over here you'll get the you know 12 14 points for doing that but you just won't get the boat if anybody else has one let me know please and i'm going to start moving on we are almost done with the pairs here okay so chris is asking let me go ahead and answer the questions um all right, D, D, pair nine. There we go, folks. Again, check those. All right, so uh, you you make line a line go from away from the other A. So if you connect, okay, uh, your, your question's uh, confusingly worded, Chris, but basically, if I make A connect to the other A, I get 14 points. If I make B connect to B, I get 13 points, and so on. Yeah, D to D pair 9. I got it. Now, if you do it early, Chris, you get a bonus. That's what we're doing now. But even if you do it later on when all these bonuses are gone, you still score the 14 or the 13 or whatever many points. All right, I'm moving on. That's enough time for everybody to have gotten these cool bonuses. Yes. Uh, I am putting this aside. My E is so weird. What do you mean? It's a capital E. It's a... Oh, why am I going away from the A? Because I'm not good at this. I was trying to get that weird buff cat. It's my favorite. Some people like the toucan. I like the buff cat with a club. He's the best. All right. Pair one. I guess a pair 11. We'll say 11, okay? Uh, wait, was that 9 or 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, okay. So this will be pair 11. Uh, all right, mountain to forest. Huh. All right, that's pair 11. This is pair 12. Okay, D to D on 11. Anybody else? D to D on 11 gets you four points and we all can stop worrying about D now. These are the bonuses that are left. D to D on 11. All right, did I do this already? Uh, mountain to forest was that one. So no, I haven't done that. I'm gonna connect to there. Okay, that's 12. And then the last pair is 13 for this round. All right, forest to desert. What a bunch of garbage. Hmm. 
There we go. That is the whole round. There's no normally a single card left, which just gets shuffled back in for the second time. So I guess uh, 13 pairs will be it. Uh, that should be it for all of our bonuses, everybody. Now, scoring, end of the round scoring here. You're going to simply add up all the numbers you circled up here, including if you circled any in the second line, and write them right there in one. So for me, that is seven points. All right. All right, somebody got E to E. On which pair did you do it? Was it when I flipped this one, when I flipped this one, or when I flipped this one? These might be wrong. I just put them back up. All right. I'm waiting on Jessica to let me know where she got this. But let's assume she got it. And nobody else has said they got it. So it doesn't really matter what she got. That's for her. So again, 11, 12, 13 was this pair up here. Let me shuffle and get ready for the next round. Okay, so she got it on 12. Jessica got it on the 12th pair for a bonus 7 points, which you just write up here somewhere above this star. Nicely done. All right, second round. Everything stays the same way. You will score all your bonuses again. Uh, plus any you unlock this time. So say I unlock uh, the, the dragon thing at the bottom there. And that's all I do. I'll write the 7 I've got. Plus another 4. So I'll put 11 there. Getting me 18 in total for that. Uh, what was the second scoring line? 2 plus etc. Um, I don't know what you mean. I think I just explained it. All right, that's gone. Here we go. Second round. First pair. Oh, man, again. All right. Wild and water. Speaking of that dragon, I got that dragon love. Oh, this thing is what you were talking about, Villa. Okay, I got it. Yeah, when you, um, so if you get the second book, let's say, it says two plus something. It's just two points, so you want to circle that. And then the something just means a bonus little road to connection anywhere on the map you want to. Okay. C to C on first pair. And then somebody got E to E on mats. Is that right? First pair. Okay. There we go. So those are both in the first pair. If anybody else got it, cool. If you did not, you, you're out of luck. I'm moving on. Second pair is that right there. Ooh, okay. Desert to stuff. Oh, man, come on. I am doing terribly at this. Okay. Forest to desert. All 
Okay, fine, I'll do that. Next pair, that's three. I'll scoot them over after a while. <laughs> uh, okay, same deal, huh? Hmm. Uh -huh. That's not going to happen. There's no way that's going to happen. So I'm going to go from this one to this one. See if I can do a little lining up. So the second point is that I connect a uh, type of road to get a free road. Yeah, you got a free, yeah, you got a free line anywhere. You can ignore the land types for that. All right, we got the second CDC on the third pair here. Blam! Oh, never mind. Sorry, somebody got it on the second pair. So you don't get it on the third pair, Tracy. Sorry. I think somebody got C to C. Let me let me make sure, folks. I want to make sure that every that we're doing this correctly. So, da da da. Okay, I want to make sure C to C on fair, first pair. Yeah, and now people got C to C on the second pair. So if you got it on the third, uh, too late. <laughs> B to B on the second. Man, you guys are leaving nothing. All right, there we go. This is the only thing left. Next up. So I'm moving this. This is the first pair, second pair, third. That's fourth. Water to desert. I can work with that. I finally, by doing so, connect my E to that E super late, but I still did it. There's This is the third pair here. So it's one, two, that was three, this is four, which is where we are right now. Uh, yeah, I know I'm hiding the sets just because they, they're kind of a while ago, but I'll, I'll try to splay them. There you go. So this is one, two, three, four. All right. I'm just shuffling cause it's fun. It doesn't matter anyway. Cause it's random. Random as it gets. Oh yeah. Oh, kapata. Bonuses for A to A are long gone. Yeah. You're playing against sharks, man. Uh, you know, Tucana sharks. So we're gonna trail. Yeah, trails of Tucana sharky sharks. All right, moving on. Everybody should be caught up. All right, that was pair one, pair two, pair three. This is four. All right, pair five. Bloop. Forest to forest. I should put wild on top to make them easier to see. I don't know what you mean by wild. Like that? Sure. 
All right, that was pair five, pair six. Hmm. Somebody got the second B on the fifth pair. That one, two, three, four on this one right here. Somebody got on that one right there the second B. Oh, never mind. Somebody got it on the fourth pair. Somebody got it on this, this pair. All right. That's it for bonuses. They're gone, people. Next up. Hmm. Desert to forest. Not great. All right. Next up, we've got mountain to forest there. So I can do this. Oh, almost, almost. <clears throat> Next up, same thing. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. That one. Come on, you gotta give me, throw me a bone here, game. Desert to water. Ooh. No, I don't need that, do I? Yeah, I no longer need that. <clears throat> Desert to water. This is garbage. Never gonna get that. Uh huh. Desert to water. I need A still. That's not gonna help. I need B still. And that's not gonna help. I got the second toucan, toucan on pair eight. What? Where is it? Oh, I did, didn't I? Ugh. Okay. Um. Then I'll say I did. Um. 
I'll say I did that on pair eight. <clears throat> no, that's stupid. Let's say I did that on pair eight. And then with that bonus road, I did that on pair eight. Okay, I'm happy. <laughs> All right. That's it for these. I'll get rid of the four oldest ones. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is eleven. Desert to desert. You can't get desert from desert. You gotta have water. If you wanna water me. Boom, boom. You can get desert from desert. Actually, you can get desert from desert, folks. I'm just letting you know. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, let me see. I got. Uh, I need my buff cat, maybe, or my E's are connected now. My A's are not quite connected yet. My B's are not quite connected yet. But this desert garbage is not helping. So I will go here and maybe I get buff cat. Okay. Uh, <laughs> next up. Mountain to mountain is sweet sauce because it gets me that one. And I get B to B. Are those bonuses still available? Oh. Oh no, they're not. They're gone. All right. And we have literally one more pair, guys. So I'm getting rid of these four old ones. This was five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, 11. This is the one I just had. And the final pair. Bam! Right there. Which is good. That works. Because I can connect from here to here. Gets that A connected to that A for that. Alright, that is it, y'all. Once you've got that and you're caught up, you add up all your bonuses up here again. Put that in line too. So... Right, is that right? Uh, 10. Yeah, 20. And then down here in the blue one, you'll put the village totals you've got. So for me, that's 37. And then where the star is, you would add up any bonuses you got for those of you who are better at this than I am. Yeah. All right, that's my score, guys. I got a big old Nintendo 64. The big N. The N stands for not good at this. 60. Oh, I'm sorry, Lego Assassin. I, I apologize. When I just said 64 was a trash score. And then you you got 60. 66. Okay, actually, all right. Well, maybe my score is not absolute garbage. Oh, okay. I feel good. Ooh, I feel all right about this. Monica's got 49. Good. First try, though, for you. And I, I have no excuse. I've played this a bunch. I'm just... I, I missed that I made a connection. I wasn't I wasn't bringing it. 72, 68, 81 for Jessica. Ugh. Pesci says, man, I suck at this. 39. No, it's fine. It's it, you're learning. Do the bonuses get counted each round? No. Um well, which bonuses? You mean the stars? Because no, they're only on here once. The, the reason the orange stuff gets counted twice is because it's literally two different lines.
<laughs> okay, 82, I think, is the highest score as of right now, from what I'm seeing. Well, well, now, hold on, Chris has 1 billion points. Ah, oh, that's what happens when you get those bonuses. That, that billion point club is, is rare. All right, 82 is the highest score so far, people. Very nicely done. All right. Bloob. That is it for this one, everybody. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Even if you didn't play, I hope you... Um, now know what the game looks like. You know, maybe it's one that you want to look into getting a copy for yourself if you haven't. Um, and again, you can always choose to come back later. Follow along with my card flips and with everybody's, you know, discussion and, uh, and play along. So if you're catching this later on, you can still play. All right, folks. Monica, thank you for the compliment. All right. Good, 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 good. I'm just checking everybody's comments, making sure uh, everything's cool. All right, good. I'm glad everybody uh, everybody enjoyed. I'm going to be back most likely next week. Tuluva? Why do I have Tuluva somewhere? Yeah, where is it? I don't know. Oh, my Tuluva's back. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so like I was saying, for um, next week, I'll be back with something else, but I'm likely going to be back with just a game I'll be playing. Something solitaire as a typical solitaire play. I'm, I'm debating whether I'm still going to call those play along and keep the thumbnail, keep the look, keep the intro, because they're not really play alongs. You just sort of, you know, you can hang out with me in the chat and, and watch and stuff. But so we'll see. We'll see what I do with that. But tune in next week. I'm going to be doing another one of these. I'll be here. Keep checking out our nightly uh, chats. We'll keep keep doing those. We've got, of course, reviews coming out. We've got a top 10 coming out, breakfast in a couple of days, all that good stuff. I hope you guys had fun. That is a loser's score and a loser's board right there. That's how not to city map, city plan, people. I'm out. Thanks, everybody. I hope you had fun. I definitely did. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.